So who are you? You're first. Um, okay, fine. I'm Sarah Baskin, and I'm playing the role of Sarah. Ooh. It's a stretch. Yeah, it, it is, isn't it? Hi, I'm Patrick Sendyuvu, and I'm playing Kennedy in Death of a Driver by Will Snyder here at Urban Stages in New York City. Yes, yeah, so why do you look confused? <laughs> Just look very serious. This is serious <laughs> business, no joking business. Ah, it was amazing for me because I know these people. I'm always curious about these people. How do they live these so-called worlds of theirs and just go to Africa? And what brings them here is it's fascinating. I mean, I'm biased sometimes because there are too many of them. Like, why? Go do some work in Newark or in, you know, another part of the... But, so it was interesting because then Will had a way of listening. Like, he goes places and he listens. He doesn't come and... Uh, and uh, bring, you know, his language and all that. I mean, he creates it, but he listens to the music of the people, the way they speak, and and I think that takes a lot. Uh, it takes a really observant uh, writer to go to a place and and speak the language instead of forcing their language into the mouths of these people. This character is created because it's very tough. You know, here you are, this character. It's like a man creating a woman's character. Which he did. Right, but um, it's always interesting to yeah. see that. Well, know. just riffing off that, I was really, um, I was really taken by how well Will, how well Will, uh, wrote a female character. Um, I found Sarah in the play to be really ambitious and very driven and very clear about a vision that she has. Um, and I was very excited to play an engineer, I'm not going to lie, it's very cool to play an engineer. I'm an actor and I'm like, I'm playing an engineer. Uh, but also to explore someone who has a very clear vision about what might make a part of the world better. Uh, this young woman moves to Kenya to build roads and that really excited me. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for them to encounter the play. I know that's very simple, but I'm excited for them to see the journey that we take both individually in our characters and also together. Um, yeah. And I'm excited for them to see two very different perspectives about what might bring about change. Mm -hmm. well, I think I'm excited to see, you know, oftentimes people say, well, if an African story is not about war, or AIDS, or homophobia, I mean, it doesn't sell it. I'm like, no, there are other, you know, we can tell an African story and, and we have stories just like any other part of the world. And these stories are coming out, like people hear these stories and see, like, you know, there's a whole world out there. I mean, it's always fascinating for me when people think of Africa and the first thing they think about is, you know, the negative stuff and all that. But they're well-rounded people who have stories to tell. And I hope we can, you know, for, I don't know, an hour and 15, 20 minutes, transport these people and take them on a journey. And a fulfilling journey. We can sort of take them out of their comfort zones, if so to speak, or for that time. And hopefully they get a glimpse onto another world beyond, which is what theater does anyway. So, and New York, man, what a place to be to do that. So. She's a delight to work with, you know. That, that's the thing, it's like, you know, finding an intelligent actor, someone who, you know, always surprises you. And I think for me, that's what's important. It's like, I mean, that's the thing. A better player makes you a better player. So when you find someone, you're always discovering things. And I think that's important, you know, to go on a journey and along the way, you find these nuggets about each other and the work and it becomes fuller and richer. And I couldn't ask for a better partner. I feel the same. <laughs> no, and I'm also excited. Um, thank you, I totally agree. Um, but I, I really love our friendship in the play and the way that we relate to each other. And I just think it's really, um, it's very alive. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come see the play. Um, I think you should come see the play. Yeah, that's all I have to say about I second that. that. Yeah. It's a really worthy story. That's the way I keep describing it to my friends. Um, it's worthy. It's worth seeing and worth experiencing. Mm. 
So it turns out I'm really bad at chugging fake beer, not even real beer, fake beer. I'm terrible at it. Uh, <laughs> and I feel like I always have to go to the bathroom now because we just are drinking so much water. But he's a really talented chugger. A teetotaler who knows how to chug. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs>